Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. A beautiful shot here from our tower cam as we look at a closing part of the day here with some high clouds building in to the valley from the west. Here is the latest on our first alert weather day for your Friday and things begin to transition tomorrow, but the first three quarters of our day Pretty nice as we will enjoy light winds and very warm temperatures and then the change begins with rain mixing with some grapple and wind and it looks like all of this nonsense times out with your evening commute. So uh, watch out for rain on roads that freezes and becomes a little slippery. Now Thursday we'll have a break with periods of snow and it doesn't look overly heavy. The wind will be breezy out there from the west northwest and could be over 40 miles per hour in places out west. Uh, heavy snow develops late on Thursday. Then into Friday this hasn't changed much either but there will be bands of heavy snow. Some gusts could exceed 50 miles per hour and it does look like we could have isolated areas getting four to six inches of snow. Let me show you what the one model has for the track. Here's the rain Wednesday. That's when the transition starts. Then Thursday, we get this kind of split or break in the system, but it looks windy and cooler, but still above average for this time of the year. By late Thursday, the model says it's going to snow focused on the valley in western Minnesota. As we go into Friday, late Friday, the storm exits the wind stays and we get mighty cold as we head into the weekend. European model is more robust with snowfall potential and the impacts will be greatest chance of seeing significant snow. Southern Valley into Lakes Country, up north and out to the west, lower snow amounts, but still windy and certainly wintry. The American model is less robust with the snowfall potential, but what we do see similarities, heaviest snow, Southern Valley into Lakes Country, and four to six seems like a a good bet for some of these areas. We'll keep you updated with track and timing changes and it will change as we get closer. But if you have travel plans, wind will be a problem west. The snow from the valley and points east tonight. High clouds building in. There's your storm system. We're watching on the Pacific Northwest, bringing rain to the Cascades and for us, our satellite and our radar extremely quiet heading into your Tuesday night and it's been a terrific Tuesday. At that, temperatures are toasty. We have 30s across most of northwest Minnesota, 40s in Jamestown. And as we take a look at Hector International, temperatures are still well into the 30s, 34 at Moorheads Airport. Wind from the south southwest is light, and it's perfect to get out there and walk the Chihuahua, maybe even throw some charcoal on the grill. It's a beautiful night. Uh, high clouds building in. See this little bit of nonsense during the overnight hours? Isolated flurries is all we're talking about here. Nothing's widespread or heavy the way it's looking now. A warm front is uh, going to make its way into the region as we go through our Wednesday, but the first three quarters of the day, as mentioned, very nice. Here comes the rain. I can't rule out a rumble of thunder with this as it works its way through. Odd enough, uh, January thunder, but it is a possibility. Temperatures in the 40s for us, and then we get a break, but the wind picks up overnight as the main cold front gets ready to punch its way in. Uh, on your day tomorrow in Fargo, temperatures rise from the mild 20s to the wild 40s. A beautiful start to the day with light wind. Then the wind picks up, and the rain chances increase for your drive time, and it does look like rain in Fargo and in Grand Forks and parts of Lakes Country as well. But with cooler temperatures in Lakes Country and road surfaces, could get slippery in places. Afternoon temperatures around 40 out to the west for your day. Beautiful photo of this truck out there parked in the field of snow near Wapton. Clinton, thanks for uploading. Here's our unsettled uh, forecast for the next three days. Here's our transition. We slide into a first alert weather day on Friday. Morning commute impacts, afternoon commute impacts. Saturday looks cooler, as does Sunday. Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebrated with cool temperatures and crisp highs that we're, are seasonal, actually, Kevin.